hate to see that. I literally just talked to this guy a minute ago. Well, today it's a beautiful spring day. Hopefully it stays this way because uh, last time it just snowed the day after. But anyways, um, from that clip that you guys saw at the beginning, I wanted to take a minute to actually do something that might help somebody down the line. So the other day I witnessed this truck get burnt down. Um, pretty much he took off the light and mechanical failure, puncture gas tank, and the car went up in flames. And the scary thing is that I stopped, I had this fire extinguisher and it didn't do anything. So I guess this would be something that you do for like a way smaller fire, but I figured that'd be a good video. Um, Cause uh, it's just kind of a reminder for safety, you know? So these fire extinguishers, this one I got from uh, Advance Auto, it was like 20 bucks. And then I found these um, at Walmart, which are $13 and You'll, you'll get to see what it looks like. And I, I just wanted to show you what you would use to mount one of these. And we are gonna mount it right here. Um, if you're not familiar with my car, I have a, a roll bar and this is where I'm gonna put the fire extinguisher. As you can see over there, I already have one. But like I said, after witnessing that truck the other day, I, I feel like that's not enough. And after doing some research, I figured out that pretty much this is what you're kind of limited to unless you go to a full in car fire mm -hmm suppression system which i'm not this is a driving car like a driver so i just don't have the type of car that would require that but i guess that uh this would help for a small fire now the fire that i witnessed the other day i don't think uh it, one of these would have helped but if it was anything smaller so i figured to make this video where i'm going to show you how to mount it here uh you can use the same technique to mount it in the front of the seat so as you can see i have my ecm there so that idea is out of the window but you can also attach them to the rails of your seat and uh if you don't mind uh poking holes on your seat cover you can actually attach in, in the same manner you can attach it to the front bar that runs across the front of your seat and uh you just gotta get you just gotta get a little bit creative on how you mount your fire extinguisher so some of the things that you're gonna need for this style of installation is gonna be just regular hose clamps uh these are what how big are these these are these are 89 millimeters so like three inch uh hose clamps uh you, you could probably get away with smaller ones depending on what you attach the bracket so So the way this is going to go down is this bracket is going to get squeezed between my roll bar and, and the hose clamp and then I'm going to put two just to mitigate vibrations on the bottom but you can probably just get away with one depending on how you're going to mount this. Something that might be worth mentioning here, do not put the hose clamp around the fire extinguisher. Just wanted to get that out of the way. You just saw me kind of get it in place now, I'm trying to keep it level with that one. So there's some symmetry going on. And this one's a slightly tilted forward. The only reason it's slightly tilted forward on the other side is so it can clear the handle because the handle actually is going here. But on this side, since it's inverted and the fire extinguishers are exactly the same, I can actually lean it out a little, uh, lean it towards the outside a little more because the only thing that's gonna be sticking out here is gonna be the tip. And that way it doesn't hit the door or anything like that. So that's in, uh, pretty much this strap, it's kind of a pain, but uh, yeah, it looks kind of clean. And then it matches the other one over there. I'm gonna probably gonna make sure that both are facing this way perfectly. But other than that, it's pretty much done. I hope that helps you guys uh, kind of, I don't know, based on the, my experience and that guy's fire, uh, these are kind of pointless, but in a smaller event, I think they might help. 
So it might be overkill to have two, but I feel like if we would have had two fire extinguishers, when that happened, we might have been able to save that car. But anyway, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Uh, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and what is it I usually say? Oh, share this with anybody that may find this useful. <laughs> <laughs>